Okay, I'm here to talk about projectors again. The only reason why is because I'm going to tell people about the fact that projectors are not quite there yet for 4K usage at um, a bargain level, like at a, an affordable price. Put Pretty much put it that way. If I wanted to compete with 4K projectors, I'd probably have to spend at least $1,500 just to go out there and be able to do true 4K resolution. Now remember, just like the shitty projector I had before, that we sent back, all because it can input the signal doesn't mean it can output it. So if you have a 1080p or a 4K input in your projector, it does not mean when it shoots it out on the screen, it's gonna look like that. A lot of people are under the very ridiculous assumption that, that that's what's gonna happen. That's why they go and buy like a $50, $100 projector from one of those stores, and then they get bad results out of them. I gotta tell you, too many people have fallen for something like that. Okay, this Optima projector, I'm going to have to look up the model name and then put it in here. This is a $700 projector. It's a 1080p projector. Like I said, you can't go into the 4K range without spending $1,500 or, or close to that for a decent one. You might be able to get one a little cheaper. I didn't see any decent ones for cheaper than that, though. You can get this Optima projector with 1080p. The refresh rate might be high or it might, it might not be that high. It might actually be low. Who cares? But it's still 1080p. It has 3D technology, which most people won't care about that. I would, because I can use the glasses, and there's a, at least 50 movies or more on this shelf that can play the 3D tech, um, technology. I mean, you would need a 3D player, though. That's actually not hard to buy, believe it or not. You can go to the store right now and pick one up. You can pick up the players, but you can't pick up the televisions anymore. And you um. There's not much new stuff to come out, but there's plenty to choose from. So um, you can actually get one for like 80. You can get a, th a 3D Blu-ray player from Sony. It looks just like the one I'm using now to watch on my projector here. It's not 3D though. Um, you can get it for around 80, 90 bucks. That's cheap compared to all the other ones that are 100, 120, 150 dollars. So you're making out on a pretty good deal there. So I think the Blu-ray world, um, I think you should know that. Um, for, so you get 1080p, you're getting the 3D technology, you're getting DL, DLP, which gives you that cinema-like view. You get all kinds of stuff. And some people say they prefer DLP over LED too. So I tend to agree with them on that, I guess. But I've never actually seen a 3D projector. I mean, not a, not a 3D projector, an LED projector. And um, I, I'm concerned about the 3D, too. That's the one thing, though, you have to really worry about. I don't really care if I never get it to work. At least it'll be there. Maybe one day I'll get the setup. What I'm concerned about is what kind of glasses will hook up to this damn thing. There's no way to buy 3D glasses anymore. Can I use my Samsung glasses for my Samsung television? Or do I have to buy special ones on eBay? Um... I know for a fact if you bought this at Best Buy, which I think the projector might be available there, you're going to have a serious problem because you're going to have to figure out exactly where to get the glasses from because they're not going to be there. They're not selling any 3D technology anymore. So you have to decide for yourself what's going to happen on that level. I'm going to tell you right now that um, Best Buy is just a, you're not going to have any of that stuff. But I think this Optima projector looks pretty good. It didn't get the best ratings. But let's all remember that it's not the best projector. I'm not saying this is the best projector, but it's the best you know thing you can get that's at the 1080p level that I saw. Yes, there's probably better one, not the best, but a good one. There's better ones that are at the 1080p level, but you're gonna look up at price. Why would you spend a thousand dollars on a 1080p projector now? That's what was what my thing was worth when I bought it 10 years ago. But now, look at all the better ones that are out. If you're going to spend $1,000, you might as well spend $1,500 for the 4K and end it at that. Why not, right? And then you've got to remember, you've got to have everything, you've got to have a source for everything for the content that goes like 1080p in our case. If you get the 1080p projector, you need something that's going to throw out 4K natively, you know, or however, however you say it. For instance, like you need a Blu-ray player or something like that. Um, or else it's worthless. Don't get a 1080p projector and, and play 480p video on it all the time. I do that once in a while when I play an old DVD or something. 
but most of the time I want to play the HD image. That's the whole point of having the machine, the projector, is to, for the image. If you're not going to use the image, then forget about it. It's a waste of money, in my opinion. Um, that's just what I'm saying. Just like with the 4K projector, that's a little more difficult because 4K projectors are going to require streaming services, mostly. A lot of people are not going to be willing to upfront the cost for Blu 4K Blu-rays and all that. So they're going to have to go to something else for their form of entertainment. Is that a bad thing? Well, well not necessarily, but some people aren't going to pay $35 a Blu-ray. They're not, they're not a collector like me, so that means they're going to want to... Um, just you know they're just going to want to use its streaming service but you know what a streaming service is a waste to the projector well I just used it the other night but I don't use it much because I feel I have to watch a disc on it I'm a disc kind of person and that's all there is to it one last thing the biggest thing I want to bitch about is the amount of ports this thing has now here's where everything sucks real bad but this is how it's going and if you look at many of the projectors online it'll confirm what I say they don't have many inputs anymore. Two HDMI inputs is all they have. That's all I need now. I only use HDMI. Even 10 years ago, for the most part, I only used HDMI. What I have right now is S-Video, the regular RCA port, component. I have everything. VGA, well, guess what? There's only two HDMIs, but I don't care. It's all I need is two HDMIs, and that's it. What else would I need for an input? Everything accepts an HDMI cable now, so you don't need anything else. I wish people would understand that for the I am so I am so ticked off at some of the things I see now, like some people that just um they they only promote the real high grade stuff. I think it's about time we start showing people the other options. Seven hundred dollars is not a lot of money. And two HDMI another here's a solution. If you really do want to play something that's RCA, like a VCR, or something else, like a laser disc player like I have, or something onto your tongue, projector, get one of those converters like I bought. Those are very easy. Um, the converter I bought accepts S-Video and RCA cables. As for components, I'm sure there's some kind of thing you can get to convert a component into HDMI. I'm sure there's a way to do that. But why would you go through all that trouble? If you're gonna watch movies and you have an older player or something, just buy a newer player, buy a new Blu-ray player, and you can, even if you just have DVDs, buy a Blu-ray player and play it through that. It'll upscale everything. All right, bye-bye.